Well, archaeologists have discovered evidence that the ancestral Sonoran Desert people who built the Casa Grande also developed wide-scale irrigation farming and extensive trade connections that lasted over a thousand years. So on this field trip Friday, while Scott, Tess, and Gibby are traveling around the world, I wanted to tag along to show you a place special to Arizona and the people who were here long before any of us. Check this out. Just about an hour southeast of the valley is this really cool place that has really stood the test of time. We're talking about the Casa Grande Ruins National Monument, and I just want to show you how incredible this site really is. It's just under 500 acres of really what's considered sacred land by so many tribes in this area. And here is really what a lot of people come to see. This is called the Great House, obviously Casa Grande. And this has been here for over 700 years. This place became a national monument in 1918. So it's been protected for well over 100 years, but even long before that. And joining us to talk about this is Park Ranger Pam Tripp. Pam, thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, I definitely appreciate your time. This is an amazing place. Thank you. Talk about what people can expect when they come down here. So when people come to visit Casa Grande Ruins National Monument, they're getting a chance to see a prehistoric site, one that they don't necessarily get to see in other areas of Arizona or maybe even throughout the U.S. Um, the site has been here for thousands or hundreds of years. The Casa Grande or Great House itself has been here for over 700 years. Uh, they get a chance to see the park movie, um, a really great film that talks about um, much of the history of this site. They get to go through a museum that has artifacts that have been found on this site and they get a chance to then come out here and be around this um, sacred area around these ruins and get a feel for what life might have been like and hundreds is, of years ago. And this is a world class attraction. People have come from all over to see this. It is, yes. Um, it is uh, very well known. Um, I remember hearing about it. I was actually here when I was younger as a little girl back in the uh, early 1970s and I have pictures and I still remember as I was growing up I remember seeing I remember seeing the great the great house and the roof that was always a picture in my head and so getting a chance to come here and work here um, has been really awesome but yeah I can see why it draws many people and people see the signs for it too as they're traveling between Tucson and Phoenix and so they have an opportunity to pull off the highway and and come here to Coolidge and visit the ruins themselves. For those who travel back and forth, I used to live in Tucson, I traveled back and forth all the time, saw the signs for it but I never pulled over to see it. Right. What do you want to tell those people who do that and you know just want to know that they have this in their own backyard? It is I don't know. I love history. I love um, the idea of history and what it can show us. And I think for people, when they have the chance to come here, it's a great way to see how the ancestral people lived and to see where they lived, to see how they used the resources here. Um, it, it, and you don't get this very often in some areas, depending on where you're traveling, you may not have that an area like this to stop at. And in a sense, even though we are surrounded uh, by roads and uh, the town of Coolidge, in a sense, it's also very quiet and peaceful here, and it's a serene area. And so I think people have that chance to not only see a prehistoric site, but also just enjoy the quiet that it provides. Awesome. Well, Pam, thank you so much. And guys, you really got to check this out. A uh, cool thing is it's open uh, 9 till 4. Uh, Pam suggests getting here early. Also, another cool thing, it's free. So come enjoy.